Have you ever wondered if the sun is a giant ball of fire burning at a mind blowing 27 million degrees Fahrenheit? Why is space so cold? Shouldn't space be warm? Or at least, not freezing? Well, grab a seat because what you're about to learn will blow your mind. Think about it if you stand under the sun on a hot summer day, you feel the intense heat on your skin. But if you step into the shade, the temperature drops instantly. Now, imagine removing the atmosphere, the air, and everything around you you'd be floating in the vacuum of space. But instead of feeling warmth from the sun, you'd freeze. So, what's going on? Why doesn't the heat from the sun make space warm? To answer that, we need to understand something fundamental, how heat actually moves. There are three main ways heat moves, conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction happens when heat moves through direct contact. Like when you touch a hot metal spoon in a bowl of soup. The metal transfers heat to your fingers. But in space, there's nothing to touch. No air, no molecules, no objects to conduct heat. Convection is how heat moves through fluids, like air and water. When you turn on a heater in a room, the warm air rises, and cooler air moves in to take its place, creating circulation. But in space, there's no air no gas to circulate heat. So convection doesn't work either. Radiation is where things get interesting. Radiation is the only way heat can travel through the vacuum of space. The sun emits its energy in the form of electromagnetic waves, including visible light, ultraviolet rays, and infrared radiation. This radiation doesn't need air or any medium it just travels freely through space. But here's the twist, even though the sun's radiation travels through space, it doesn't actually, heat, space itself. Why? Because space is almost entirely empty. Heat, as we feel it, is a measurement of how fast molecules are moving. The faster molecules move, the hotter something feels. On Earth, when sunlight hits air or objects, it excites molecules, making them vibrate and heat up. But in space, there are almost no molecules to absorb that energy. In simple terms, space has no substance to hold on to heat. The sun's radiation just keeps going, traveling billions of miles until it finally hits something like a planet, a moon, or an astronaut's spacesuit. Now, you might be wondering if space is cold, why do astronauts experience both extreme heat and extreme cold? Well, when an astronaut is in direct sunlight, the radiation from the sun directly heats their spacesuit, making them feel extremely hot sometimes over 121 degrees Celsius. But the moment they move into the shadow of their spacecraft or the dark side of the moon, there's nothing to keep them warm. No air to trap heat. Nothing to conduct warmth. And without radiation hitting them, their temperature can drop to 157 degrees Celsius almost instantly. That's why spacesuits are designed with multiple layers, insulation, and reflective coatings to keep astronauts safe. If space is a vacuum with almost nothing in it can it even have a temperature? The answer is tricky. Temperature is usually a measure of how much energy molecules have. But since space has almost no molecules, it doesn't really have a temperature in the way we think. However, the tiny bits of gas and dust floating in space are incredibly cold almost 270 degrees Celsius, which is just a few degrees above absolute zero, the coldest possible temperature. But here's the crazy part if you were floating in space without a spacesuit, you wouldn't instantly freeze. At least, not right away. You might think stepping into space without protection would make you freeze instantly, but that's not exactly what happens. Since space is a vacuum, there's no air to carry heat away from your body through conduction or convection. That means your body wouldn't lose heat super fast. Instead, you'd slowly lose heat through radiation. But before that happens, the lack of air pressure would cause your bodily fluids to start boiling and expanding. Not because it's hot, but because without pressure, liquids turn into gas much more easily. You'd lose consciousness in about 15 seconds due to lack of oxygen, and within a couple of minutes, your body would start cooling. Eventually, radiation would remove all your body heat, leaving you frozen. But it wouldn't happen instantly like in the movies. If space is so cold, how do planets like Earth stay warm? The answer lies in our atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere acts like a giant blanket. 
When sunlight reaches us, the air, water, and land absorb the energy, heat up, and then release that heat slowly over time. Our atmosphere traps some of this heat, keeping temperatures stable. This is why Earth stays warm even when we're not directly facing the sun. On the other hand, planets with thin atmospheres like Mars lose heat much faster, making them much colder at night. And planets with no atmosphere, like Mercury, experience extreme temperature swings 427 degrees Celsius during the day and 201 degrees Celsius at night. So, why is space cold if the sun is hot? It all comes down to this. Heat needs something to transfer through. Space is empty. So, even though the sun's energy is traveling through space, there's nothing there to warm up. But here's a final mind-blowing fact. If you were holding a metal object in space, one side facing the sun and the other in shadow, one side would be hot enough to cook an egg while the other would be cold enough to freeze your hand. That's how extreme space really is. So, next time you look up at the sun, just remember space might be full of light, but it's also full of freezing, silent emptiness. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more mind-blowing science facts. Let me know in the comments, what's another space mystery you'd like us to explore next? Until next time, stay curious.